Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and in these videos I talk about productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So I've been doing a lot of videos recently, uh, I've been trying to do a lot of videos, I've been doing about two a week, just trying to cover as much as I can in terms of tutorials and all the different areas, uh, especially all of the kind of Dropbox paper updates and also trying to catch on the mailbox of Sunrise. So I, I haven't actually done an update video for a while with just myself talking um, and what I wanted to cover quickly is one, uh, some news for next week and two, just some 2016 mini predictions about why things can happen. So in the next week I'll be finalising my website and although that's not a major update to you guys, um, it will kind of make it a lot easier for you to find my content. So previously I did have a website and I did put all my links up there. Um, but now what I want to do is kind of go back to that format in a much more structured way. So uh, as of like, I think it's Thursday when I actually finish up on the kind of uh, design part, just checking everything over and adding the content, um, it will be ready by Friday, I think. I'm going to say that now. Um, so two days time, the new website will be out and you guys will be able to get all the Medium posts, all of the YouTube videos, all from there, which will be useful because not necessarily you don't have to come back to this page uh, but I would appreciate if you subscribe to, you know, I think I'll work it out. But the second thing I wanted to talk about is 2016 predictions. And I know a lot of you have been looking at kind of 2016. Uh, I wrote a piece on Trello the other day, uh, just kind of giving you, you my kind of thoughts on what I think would, what's happening with Trello. But for those who don't know, a lot of productivity apps have gone out the window recently. Mailbox, Sunrise and a couple of others as well, smaller ones, that start to get acquired by bigger companies. And we're seeing big companies coming along, acquiring smaller companies, and then basically dropping them and taking all of their assets or their services and embedding it into their core product. So with Sunrise, the brilliant, fantastic calendar was stripped down and all of its features removed and added to Outlook. I mean, I'm an Outlook user myself, but I don't know whether that was worth it. They should have kept the consumer version and should have kept the digital ver the, the business version and kind of run them both on the same side because I reckon eventually people would have paid Sunrise for business. It was such a great application. So 2016 uh, is going to be in that kind of year where a lot of those apps are either going to get bought out or they're going to have to you know, get stripped down and taken to uh, another service and actually being put into the core service. And that's a problem because we're going to have you know, Google, Facebook, and uh, you know, Microsoft just owning the kind of core productivity apps, which I think is a bit of a pain because we kind of lack that kind of AI skill uh, and experience inside an app. And that's why I wanted to lead on to this point. In 2016, in Q1, there needs to be a massive push towards AI. With productivity apps, uh, like Vimbalis, like Sonra, um, I keep saying it, like Todoist, there needs to be this underlying knowledge of what your day is like, right? So they need to be able to understand you, whether you know you give your data to them or not. It's that ability to be able to kind of know what you're doing, where you are, why you're doing it, and be able to pick up that context and then change the content, the tasks, the activities inside the to-do list, whatever it is, Wonder List, you know, uh, Evernote, and actually take that context into account and then apply it as a useful output. So I can imagine this working kind of for Evernote. Um, so instead of you you know, um, actually having to worry about, you know, getting your agenda for a certain meeting and actually having to schedule it. It understands that meeting and be able to put it into context when you need it and when you want it. So those sorts of things, it needs to be able to prompt you at given times. Uh, and obviously the systems aren't ready for this, but apps like these productivity apps need to start moving here because this is the space to be in. You're going to leapfrog a lot of different companies if you do this. Anyway, um, I wanted also to do another video about Sunrise because I think Sunrise uh, has been a bit of a shock to all of us. I know a lot of people are still talking about it on social media. I'm still working on my web alternative review uh, so you guys can like see that one and be able to get some alternatives to start using. Um, but it's something that's so hot and I want to, I actually didn't predict it. Um, I actually said the opposite to it in August. So I'm going to do a separate video to that. But it's something that a lot of people are annoyed about and I just think that what I just said previously could have saved them a lot of time. But anyway guys, I just wanted to update you on kind of my thoughts on the productivity area as well. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments recently on Twitter. 
uh, had some fantastic engagement uh, recently, uh, and I'm really appreciating that everyone's kind of supporting me uh, in this channel because I'm going to be doing lots. I'm going to try and do by the end, by the start of next year, I can now do try and do some daily content as well to really push the channel forward. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.